First and foremost, do you mind stating your name? Yes, of course. Uh, my name is Faye Morales Rafael. And uh, where were you born? Uh, Quezon City, Philippines, in one of the army hospitals there, Villona General Hospital. Okay. Um, did you have any other siblings? Yes. How many? Three brothers. Okay. So how was that like, being the only um, daughter? It's kind of challenging because I grew up um, not having any sisters to bond with, but uh, it turned out okay because my brothers were fine. Okay. So, um, what did your parents do for a living? My mom is just a plain housekeeper and my dad is a soldier. A soldier? Did you, um, was your dad ever away when you were growing up? Almost all the time. Okay. So, uh, how, frequent, how frequently did you see him? Like once every three months, he has to be stationed in different parts of the country. And then finally, he took us with him. Was that only a one-time thing or was it to every time he was um, stationed in other parts of the Philippines? Uh, later part on our teenage life, yes, he took us to everywhere he goes. Oh, okay. So, um, how is that like from moving from one place to another? Well, being young, I didn't find it too uh, difficult, but I just had a problem because I'm school at that time, and every time we have to move from one place to the other, I have to uh, be transferred, and it's hard to deal with these new classmates every time. What do you remember about growing up in the Philippines? A lot. Such as? So, so much fun. I remember just uh, grow, growing up in a normal way. We never had a cell phone or anything of that matter. I used to play um, outside with my uh, friends. And basically, we just have to invent our toys, which is also good because we learn to interact with them physically and then we get to know each other and we build some kind of special friendships with the one another. So and that's also a form of exercise, being outside. Okay, since you um, met a lot of people like playing games with your neighbors, did you have any role models while growing up? I remember my grandma. Um, how is she like a role model to you? Well, she has always instilled in me the importance of being a good uh, Christian. Mm -hmm. She always tells me to go to church every Monday and always uh, fear in God. And my mom also taught me how to be a good cook and to respect the elders. Okay. So um, how have they impacted your life? Like, Do they like plan any of your goals for your future or anything like that? Um, my parents were not really that um, involved. They just want me to finish um, school, mm -hmm. uh, but my grandma really taught me the hard way, and she wanted me to be somebody. What do you mean by the hard way? Well, she taught me how to earn money in a hard way, like you re if you want something, you have to earn it. And if I needed money, you have to earn it. I have to sell vegetables from their garden. I had to wake up early in the morning to help her with, uh, with all sort of business and um, anything that I wanted, she always tells me, you have to earn it. And that's how I learned the value and importance of money and how it is to be good with one another. Just respect. So you talked about the hardships of growing up. Did um, your siblings ever have the same morals as you? Uh, we grew up the same way, um, with the same morals, I believe, because we had always been to, taught the same way. But being a girl, I think I played more importance with uh, all of this because boys tends to be boys, you know, they can be hard-headed and they can be, they tend not to listen so much. Did you know anybody that once lived in the United States? before you actually went to the United States? Oh yeah, my uncle, the brother of my dad. And did you hear any like news of the Philippines? Like what did they say? Actually, he's the one who encouraged me to become a nurse. He said that being a nurse in America 
is one of the best jobs because uh, he said that they are paid one of the highly paid profession in America. So he said, come here to America and be a good nurse and he thinks that I can do it. Did he talk about how life was in the Philippines or in the, the United States? Well, he taught me some stuff, but not all. Um, he just told me that I might have a problem dealing with some people because some people are uh, not too keen about working with Filipinos.